Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to be making a chocolate and vanilla marble cake. And I'm going to start off straight away by taking uh, 12 grams of cocoa powder and I'm going to pour two tablespoons of hot water into that and just stir that round until we get the nice paste. And then I'm going to leave that to cool just while we mix the rest of the ingredients together. Now for this cake, I may also make a chocolate frosting to go on top. Um, but I haven't decided that yet and it's, it, it's not necessary. So the main purpose of this recipe is to get the nice chocolate and vanilla marble cake. So for the other ingredients, I have 225 grams of softened butter, 275 grams of self-raising flour, and two teaspoons of baking powder, which I'm going to put into the flour. I have 225 grams of caster sugar, four large uh, eggs, and I've actually weighed those uh, as I cracked them. They weigh 225 grams out of the shell two tablespoons of milk and uh, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So what we're going to do is pour everything into our bowl. You can do this by hand or with a hand mixer if you want to. But I'm going to do it in the stand mixer. I'm just going to take my finger and mix that baking powder in a little bit. Put that into the bowl as well. And the vanilla extract. And I'm going to mix that for a couple of minutes. Now I should say I have my oven preheating at 160 Celsius, 140 Celsius with a fan, 325 Fahrenheit. Okay, so I've mixed that for a couple of minutes. I've scraped down the sides once during the process. And what I'm going to do is transfer roughly half of the batter into a separate bowl. It doesn't matter if it's not exact. I think that's going to be enough. And the point of this is to allow us to mix in our cocoa mixture. We'll just mix that in. So we have a nice light cocoa mixture there. So then what I'm going to do is to take a loaf tin. Now I've greased this and I've lined 
the bottom and the sides. That's just to make it easier for getting out. And I'm going to randomly almost pop dollops of the batter in. scrape down each bowl like that and then we're going to level it off a little bit like that we're going to take another spoon and we're just going to do some zigzags like that You don't want to do it too much, but you want to make sure you go to the bottom if you possibly can. And then I'm going to take my little offset spatula and spread it out evenly along the top. And I'm going to put that in the oven and I'm going to bake it for between 50 minutes and an hour until it is baked and it's coming away from the sides a little bit and uh, a skewer in the middle comes out clean. Then I'm going to uh, take it out of the oven and allow it to cool and I'll come back and show you the next steps. Well hello, I'm back again and now um, I baked our cake, I actually let it bake for exactly 60 minutes. I did test it after 50 minutes and it was slightly wet just here, so I let it bake for 60 minutes. I've taken it out and I've cooled it down um, completely. And now I'm going to make a little frosting for the top. 
In the saucepan behind me I have uh, 25 grams of butter which I'm just allowing to melt. And when that's melted, I'm going to put into it 15 grams of cocoa powder. Then I'm going to stir that around and cook it for about a minute. And then I'm going to add that into 100 grams of icing sugar and mix it together, adding up to two tablespoons of milk to make it the right consistency. You may not need all the two tablespoons. So the butter is still melting. It's almost there. So I'm going to put the cocoa powder in. And I'm going to stir that in. Okay, that's fine. So next, I'm going to put that into the icing sugar. And straight away I'm going to add some of the milk. Not all of it. I'm going to stir that around. And I actually think that that is enough and it doesn't need any more milk in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and spread it onto the top of our cake. Now as I said before, it's not necessary, you don't need to do this. It's only if you want to give it that little extra flavour and texture. But the cake will be perfectly fine without it. And once you've got that on, use a spatula to spread it all over the top. I'm actually going to leave it for another 20 minutes or so just to allow that frosting to firm up just a little bit, which it will do. And then I'll be back with you and we'll cut into it and see what it looks like. Right, so I've let this firm up for a little bit. I could actually leave it for longer, uh, but well, I'm, I'm going to try to cut it. And there we have our cake. I think that looks quite good and we'll give it a taste.
Yeah. That first bit was very chocolatey, of course, because it had the icing or the frosting on it. But the rest has a light vanilla flavour and a chocolate flavour that will go down very, very well with a cup of tea. So that's it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up and uh, below the video and click to subscribe to our YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen, there'll be an eye which you can click and that will give you a link to the recipe. There will also be a link to the recipe below the video that you can click as well if you want to. So that's going to be it for today. I'll be back with you soon with another recipe. If anybody has any suggestions for recipes, perhaps they'd like to uh, comment on YouTube and say the sort of things they like, and maybe I can try to do some of those as well at some time. I'll be back with you very soon with another recipe. So until then, happy baking.